Hi Scorpio, this is your October 21st through the 27th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love venture in your life. Uh, spread number two is for those of you who are already in a relationship or married. In the third spread, we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you. After that, in spread number four, we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And uh, the fifth and final spread will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love this week, Scorpio. We have uh, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Magician in the potential outcome. We have the Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. And we also have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing maybe with a fellow uh, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, perhaps even a Sagittarius or absolutely any Zodiac sign. So let's talk about this, uh, Scorpio, real, real quick. There is an element of the past um, in this reading, in this spread. However, the element of the past sh doesn't show up from the very beginning, right? You see that Six of Cups right there, kind of in the middle, clarified by the Magician, the magi uh, the, uh, the Six of Cups. It, it is a soulmate card, just like the Two of Cups right next to the deck, but the, the Six of Cups is a card of somebody or something or a place from the past. And I think that's what it is. For some of you, the, the thing is, the problem, I guess, <laughs> is the confusion is, is that the Six of Cups showed up much later. Not in the beginning, not in the bottom of the deck, but much later it was the last card that came out in the uh, main spread on the left. Therefore, here's what it makes me think. It could still be somebody from your past. Maybe it's a reunion of some sort. Perhaps it is a reunion. Not with somebody whom you were in love with, I mean, whom you were in a relationship or whom you were married to, but it's just a reunion with somebody from the past. Some of you could be traveling to some kind of a reunion, right? Maybe you're traveling where you grew up this uh, week or they're traveling where they grew up and perhaps there's an age difference and that's why you, your paths never crossed in the past. Maybe you two went to the same high school together or something like that. And uh, the this element of the past will be what will reunite you or unite you. Okay, this is what will solidify your union. Maybe both of you, you know, went to the same college, but not in the same, uh, not at the same time. Maybe you did go to the same college at the same time. I don't know. But uh, I just want to uh, highlight it one more time. Something from both of your pasts will unite you. Something that you have in common from your from both of your pasts, not necessarily uh, concurrently, not necessarily at the same time, but that will you that will unite you. Maybe you went through a very similar or the same experience in the past, not with each other, if that makes sense. <laughs> all right, but the the three of cups all the way to your left. Clarifying the Six of Swords, the Three of Cups is some kind, it could be a card of a reunion, right? Not necessarily with this person, but it's also a card of some kind of a party event, gathering, some kind of a concert, show, game, what have you. All right, the Knight of Cups, the next card over, could be a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is the most romantic, the most loving, uh, the most caring knight out of all four knights. All right, so there's definitely going to be a love <laughs> coming your way. The Magician, clarifying uh, that Six of Cups, the Magician is either a Gemini or a Virgo you're dealing with, but the Magician is also a card of manifestation, it's a card of taking action, it's a really good card, especially when it clarifies such an amazing, such a great card like Six of Cups. Okay, In the potential outcome we have the Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. The Ace of Swords um, is a card of clarity. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. It's a card of no BS as I call it. It's a card of a new beginning. Right? It's a card of setting the record straight. Um, the Wheel of Fortune right there in the middle. It's a, it's a start of a cycle, a very fortunate cycle. It's a major arcana card and it's a great one. Right? A very fortunate card. Hence uh, the word fortune in its name. The Two of Cups right next to the deck is another soulmate card. But uh, yeah, the, the Two of Cups is also a card of when two people are on the same page, feeling the same way towards one another. The star on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true or an Aquarius or both. <laughs> a wish come true and an Aquarius you could be dealing with. Looks awesome. Scorpio. So yeah, be on the lookout of some kind of an element of the past, if that makes sense. So you're really happy for you. Congratulations.
If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Scorpio, this bird is for you. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we also have Aries on the table. I don't think Zodiac signs really matter. It is possible that uh, your person is one of those Zodiac signs I just mentioned, but I, this week has something to do with money, for sure. Money, money, money. Okay, let's talk about this real quick. The Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I think this is money coming in. I don't know how, <laughs> but perhaps you're cashing in on something. It could be dividends. It could be a bonus check at work. It could be a, like a bigger paycheck than usual. It could be commission. I don't know. Somehow money is coming in. Okay, the fourth pentacles, the first card that came out. Um, I often refer to this card as a savings account card. You see how the person in the fourth pentacles is holding on to a pentacle because they just recently received some money, right? The knight of pentacles is coming in and the, the fourth pentacles is receiving money. All right, then we have the two of pentacles. All right, so with the two of pentacles, you're going to be like, so what, sh what should we do with all the money? <laughs> all right, it's a problem, but it's a nice problem to have. Wouldn't you agree, Scorpio? <laughs> well, with the two of pentacles, you could be like also paying for this, but saving some of it, but then uh, you, you may, you know, indulge yourself, go out and uh, spend some of it on entertainment or something like that. That's what I think the fool is. I think you will be saving some of this money, but then also maybe go out together and have like a really good dinner. Or maybe, it's, you know, buy some extra clothes or something like that. I think with the full card you'll be like, hey, let's just, uh, let's spend some of it. We only live once or something like that. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past review, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent X. We have the Page of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands. Now we have the Six of Wands. Then we have the Three of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups. And we also have uh, Temperance on the bottom of the deck. Mm, you're probably dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, temperance on the bottom of the deck is a Sagittarius card, as a matter of fact. And it looked kind of good, Scorpio, with the first two cards that came out, uh, the Page of Wands and the Six of Wands, and then the Three of Swords showed up. Well, yes, you will be hearing from somebody. You will. But um, the Three of Swords was the last card that came out, right? It is a card of a broken heart. It is a card of feeling stabbed in the back. It's a card of a devastation. It's clarified by the Five of Cups, which is a card of grief, regret, and disappointment. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 50-50. If you can find it in your heart to forgive and forget. Um, but at the same time, you know, I kind of see why you have your doubts about this. Because they're coming in the, um, with that Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands, Six of Wands. It's like they're not being... It's like, it's a very playful energy. It's a very, hey, let's get together and have some good time. Let's have fun. You know, and you're like, seriously... You know, fun is good, but what about the other things? You know, that's what I think is going to be on your mind. You know, yeah, we can have a good time, but, uh, you know, I want more. I want more than just having a good time. That's how it feels. So, yeah, it's it's up to you, Scorpio. If, if you do want to have a good time, yes, go for it. Uh, but um, I, I don't know if they want more from you. Just have a, Just talk to them. Just talk to them, ask them, I guess, the Scorpio. But uh, yeah, at this point, I, I give it a 50-50. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Scorpio. This week, we have the World, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, uh, clarified by the Five of Wands, and we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Mm, this is a tricky one, uh, Scorpio, because it, this reading, the spread, ends with Five of Swords, clarified by the Five of Wands. Um... Yeah, and uh, those two cards are very, very similar, right, in nature, energetically, very, very similar. It's like the Five of Swords is the extreme version of the Five of Wands, which is clarifying it. So this is just a way of the universe to confirm that, yes, this is what you'll have to face, right? So perhaps with the Five of Swords, you will have to fight for something, you will have to win, you will have to fight until until uh, you're winning. It's like, uh, go big or go home, right? <laughs> There's no win-win here, right? It's one winner and one loser, uh, just so you know. But what's tricky about this is that um, 
Another tricky thing is that we have the world. The first card that came out and uh, then we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a great card. Okay, and the world, the first card that came out, it is a card of an ending, right? It's also a card of some place remote, by the way. Uh, but uh, the, I always interpret the world as a, as a really happy ending, right? So this is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and the much better, much happier chapter of your life is about to begin. But that goes kind of against that Five of Swords that com comes out later, right? So Ten of Pentacles is a card of money, financial abundance. It's a card of a home, real estate, okay? It's also a card of a family. The Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, um, yeah, it's... The Ace of Swords is a it's a it's a sword as you can see and it's a double edged sword. The Ace of Swords with well, the Ace of Swords people usually don't play around, don't joke around, right? Uh, with the Ace of Swords people have to be very decisive. Okay, so just to sum up, something so let me give you some scenarios. Alright, say you you want to buy a home and uh, you it's like a, a home at a remote location. So you uh, sign paperwork, you fly out there or you drive out there and uh, you may confront somebody on your property or, some <laughs> or something like that. Or say you're retiring this week, right? And you've got your money, you've got your 401k, you've got your other savings, you've got your home, but then it turns out uh, not ev everything is not as smooth as it seems. You may have to like go to your bank, go to your financial institution and uh, demand something that they release the funds or you know you will have to get to the manager and uh, make sure something goes your way um, or it still has something to do with the property in some other shape or form alright Scorpio I hope this makes sense let me know how this but just so you know yeah you will have to like fight for something you will with that five of swords and the five of ones just uh, just so it's uh, it's yours or something like that alright cool Let's see what you're not ex uh, expecting to happen this way, uh, Scorpio. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Swords. We have uh, the Page of Swords, clarified by the Two of Swords. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, we also have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to bury the hatchet with you. Somebody wants to um, rekindle, <laughs> reconcile with you. Not necessarily a love interest. No, it does not feel the same way as the person in the, uh, in the uh, love from the past spread. It, this person could be a love interest, but it could be a friend, a family member, it could be somebody you used to work with, used to do business with, what have you. What you need to know is that uh, the two of you right now, you're not speaking. I don't see you guys speaking. Perhaps you guys had like a major fallout, you got into a fight or something like that. Right? Uh, that's what I feel with the uh, Five of Pentacles clarified by the Nine of Swords in the beginning and with the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Page of Swords, the next card over, you will be hearing from this person. The Page of Swords in this case is a message. And it's a message like a peace offering. Right? Somebody wants to talk, pe negotiate peace with you, <laughs> I guess. All right, uh, the Two of Swords clarifying it is a card of a crossroads, so you'll be sitting at the crossroads, but at the same time, the often forgotten meaning of the Two of Swords is a peace offering, armistice, right? Cease fire, okay? And uh, with the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, um, it, these are good cards, these are like financial cards, these are cards of stability, uh, long-term potential, not, again, not necessarily uh, love related, uh, these are cards of like, um, um, yeah, something long term. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a card of a, a golden opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity, it's a very serious offer. So, um, if you can negotiate some kind of a peace agreement, I guess, for this person, I think uh, it's worth considering like allowing this person back into your life or re-establishing this connection whatever the nature of this connection is for Scorpio there is no major arcana cards on the table by the way just so you know alright so Scorpio that's what I have for you for this reading for this week if this video resonates with you please like it please also comment and subscribe and uh, other than that Scorpio have an amazing week